In Survivor, the reality competition that has gone on for 20 years now, contestants are left in an isolated location where they take part in different tasks for food, shelter, and immunity. The contestants are eliminated progressively, and the sole survivor who survives until the very end takes home the grand prize of $1 million. The show is a massive hit, and the one thing that has stayed constant through its 20 years is Survivor host Jeff Probst. Jeff Probst is a well-recognized game show host who entered the entertainment industry in 1996 with Backchat, a half-hour show that ran on FX, and saw him answering various viewer letters. Probst hosted several shows and worked as a writer-director on many others before finally landing the role of Survivor host, a job that has proved quite life-changing in every way for him. Though Probst has done many shows in the past, including The Jeff Probst Show, which aired from September 2012 to May 2013, no job has filled his coffers the way Survivor has. Did you know Jeff Probst is loaded? Facts First presents Survivor host Jeff Probst is absurdly rich. If you enjoy watching our videos, like and subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so we can keep you updated about all our latest videos. Jeff Probst is an amazing host. He doesn't shy away from sharing his colorful remarks during the various reward and immunity challenges, and it's fun to watch him take contestants to task most of the time. At the Tribal Council, he always comes up with new and innovative ways to throw contestants into lively debates and up the entertainment quotient of the show. Similarly, he's also the host who asks questions that no one dares to ask, and over the last 20 years and 40 seasons of the show, he has perfected the catchphrase that is best associated with him, the tribe has spoken. As the show's host, as well as one of its executive producers, Probst gives a lot of his time and efforts to Survivor, and therefore it's no surprise he also demands a massive paycheck. In this video, we tell you how much wealth has the Survivor host accumulated over the years. For now, we'll just tell you it's a lot. In 2017, the sports and pop culture podcast The Ringer reported, based on an article published in TV Guide, that Probst was drawing home a salary of $200,000 per episode. Since almost every season of Survivor has close to 15 episodes, the podcast reported the show's host was making about $4 million every season, i.e. $8 million every year. Now, if we even assume that Probst's salary was less during the initial few seasons of the show, we know he must surely have taken yearly hikes later. Survivor has had 40 successful seasons, so you can well imagine the kind of money Probst has accumulated in his bank accounts over the last 20 years. And if that isn't enough, Probst is also an executive producer on the show and surely takes a cut of the total profits as well. Other than playing the host on Survivor, Probst has also directed two films, made guest appearances on shows like How I Met Your Mother and Life in Pieces. After doing so much work, it's not very surprising the Survivor host has a net worth of $50 million as of 2020. However, Probst also gives back a lot. In 2007, he started the Serpentine Project, an NGO focusing on helping young people moving out of foster care. Now that we're discussing one of the most popular TV hosts, here are a few things you probably didn't know about Jeff Probst. His first job required him to clean tables between customers. His net worth may be $50 million now, but his first job was bussing tables. When Probst was in school to make some extra money, he took up a job at a local restaurant called Elk's Lodge, where he was paid $2.20 an hour to clean tables between customers. He was 15 at the time, but told the manager he was 16. Well, there's a man who's known the importance of money since the very start. His brother Scott was also part of the Survivor team. Jeff has two brothers, Scott Probst and Brent Probst, both younger. Scott has worked on and off with Jeff on Survivor. Between 2006 and 2009, Scott worked as an assistant director on five episodes of the show. Then he came back in 2011 and was a member of the camera crew for 25 episodes. He has worked as a grip and video engineer on the show as well. Like Jeff, Scott has been a part of the entertainment industry for years now. He was the production coordinator for the game Medal of Honor Rising Sun, which was released in 2003, and served as the producer for Medal of Honor European Assault, which released in 2005. Probst did not take up the role of the producer until the 13th season. Until the 12th season of Survivor, Jeff's role on the show was restricted to being a host. 
However, before the beginning of the 13th season, he had a word with the show's makers, and no one knows what happened, but Jeff was promoted to the role of executive producer alongside being the show's host. For Jeff, making the transition was easy. He said in an interview that a host is always involved in everything going on with the show. Therefore, becoming an executive producer wasn't all that difficult for him. Jeff Propes is also an ordained minister. In 1999, Jeff's parents decided to get remarried on their 40th wedding anniversary. Jeff wanted to marry his parents, and therefore he applied to become a minister. The whole thing cost him $25, and he was ordained by the Universal Life Church of Modesto, California. As an ordained minister, he's married many of his friends, and even offered to marry Amber and Rob Mariano during the eighth season of the show titled Survivor All-Stars The Reunion. He was outstanding host for a reality show four years in a row. Jeff Probst is one of the highest paid TV show hosts because he's clearly one of the best on TV. Jeff's four Primetime Emmy Awards prove just that. Between 2008 and 2011, he won the Primetime Emmy for Outstanding Host four years in a row. After his four consecutive wins, the Los Angeles Times opined that what made Probst such a good host was his ability to interact with contestants on a personal level and his ability to figure ways to become their counselor and not just the show's host. He's a big fan of David Letterman and his wife loves Liam Neeson. Probst is a huge admirer of David Letterman and if given a chance of all the CBS hosts, he would choose to spend a day with Letterman. When asked to justify his choice, Jeff said that surrounding oneself with great people is one of the best things for one's soul. So, in simple words, Probst thinks Letterman is great. Similarly, Probst was once asked if he could choose one person to have dinner with, who would he choose? He chose Liam Neeson because his wife Lisa is a huge fan of Neeson's. Such an adorable gesture. He's been married twice. Probst married psychotherapist Shelley Wright in 1996, and after five years of marriage, the couple filed for divorce in 2001. Thereafter, in 2004, while filming for Survivor Vanuatu, he started dating Julie Berry, who was a contestant on the show. Unfortunately, things didn't work out between the two, and the couple split in 2008. He met his current wife, Lisa Ann Russell, at a holiday party, and the two got married in 2011. Through his marriage to Lisa, Probst is a stepfather to Lisa's two children with actor Mark Paul Gossler, Michael and Ava. You may have seen him on Two and a Half Men. Probst is a rather handsome man, and therefore he constantly gets offers to do guest appearances on different shows. He's appeared in two episodes of Two and a Half Men. In 2013, he appeared in the episode titled Some Kind of Lesbian Zombie, and in 2014, he appeared on the 12th episode of the 11th season called Baseball, Boobs, Boobs, Baseball. Other than Two and a Half Men, Probst has also made guest appearances on How I Met Your Mother, Life in Pieces, and Family Guy. While traveling, he always has a $20 bill with him. As the Survivor host, Probst has traveled to some of the most exotic locations in the world. And when you travel so much, you obviously pick up a few lessons with regard to traveling. One of the biggest lessons he's learned from all that traveling is that one must always carry some cash with them. Thus, wherever he goes, he carries a $20 bill with him. According to Probst, he's used the $20 bill to tip people, pay for transportation, and get upgrades at hotels. However, shouldn't he be carrying more than just one $20 bill? He devotes only four months of his year to Survivor. Survivor first aired in 2000, and since then there have been 40 seasons of the show. Given that Probst has hosted all the seasons, it's normal for people to assume he must be putting in many months every year. However, in an interview with GQ, Probst explained that he's away from home for only four months every year. Each season is shot over 39 days. Since Jeff reaches the locations a few days before the contestants, at best, he spends four months on shooting Survivor every year. If only we too had a job that paid us $8 million just for four months of work. He's a social media star. Jeff Probst uses various social media platforms to interact with his fans and therefore often makes it a point to find the time to answer their questions. He's therefore quite popular on social media. So, did you know that Jeff Probst is absurdly rich? Did you know his net worth is close to $50 million? More importantly, do you think Jeff Probst is irreplaceable and that he deserves all the money he gets? Let us know what you think. It's always so much fun to know what our audiences think. 
If you enjoy Facts First videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated about all our latest videos.